Hey guys, Masterleaf here. Hope you all enjoyed that intro there. I didn't want to spend too long in it, but I wanted for there to be something. So this mod, uh, yeah, it's been a long time in the making. I remember five months ago posting on YouTube that I had finished it, but around that time I got word from a really great modder by the name of the Hostile Negotiator that I should uh, modify CGS maps to include patch changes. And some of the things I've seen in my intro there, like the Zircom Hammerhead with ceramic armor, would be possible uh, with that. In fact, if it weren't for that delay, I wouldn't have been able to include nearly as much as I did in this mod. I would have much preferred to make these things a global change, but since I strove for compatibility online, it resulted in the 1.02 plus maps having these features only. Anyways, this mod or add-on was a lot of work. I dedicated a lot of my free time during the past nine months recreating specular maps, normal maps, creating textures for GDI and screen house color, improving nod player color, with all of that being traced in Photoshop rather than use of an upscale because I, you know, I found that the upscales weren't really up to scratch, so I retraced all of that. Uh, with over 2,000 Photoshop documents and the mod including over a thousand container and mesh files, the job was huge. Originally, I just wanted to upscale the textures, but in reality, that alone doesn't have the best effect. The AI causes a ton of artifacts and doesn't get a lot of things right. I used Photoshop to correct those things. I also spent a lot of time digging into the CNC4 files, sample arts released by EA and material found on the internet to get the best possible results for many of the units. The feature list would be too long to list here, but I think you guys will be using, when you use this add-on, will discover differences as you play. A lot of things were not upscales and you'll probably notice that. Obviously, I'm no artist, but remaking all of the decals, or some of the decals, I didn't actually do all of them, but you know, some here and there, and some of the support power targeting decals was easy enough. True, that was uh, pretty easy. The terrain would have been great to improve, but without retexturing all the maps, it can't be done, and that's simply too much for me. I didn't really want to retexture all the maps, guys, because that would have taken uh, forever, and I don't have the time to do that. And also, we initially tried to make the UI 4K as well, but problems existed uh, with the current tools and therefore uh, I wasn't able to make that happen. I think maybe in the future it could happen. Uh, we've got to find out and see if that'll be a thing. With all that said, this would have not been possible for me without Lauren, who many of you have not probably heard of. This person has done a ton for Kane Draft, and if, if it weren't for her, we wouldn't have cyber streaming games today, a multiplayer community, myself playing, uh, even this add-on here, you wouldn't see that either. She was responsible for the Mod SDK development as EA never released one for this game. This allows CGF to make the 1.02 plus map packs and it allowed for the multiplayer scene to exist to this day. I joined the modding discord without the slightest clue on what to do and Lauren was there to answer all the questions I had. That's a huge dedication and I really respect that. We often hear about CGF but the work that went into the mod SDK, the tools for altering this game was substantial and CGF simply would not exist without them. Besides teaching me how to use the mod SDK, Lauren also made some nice additions to this mod. She found the cause for Tiberium being bugged this whole time. Tiberium originally was supposed to shimmer and shine. You'll find in the old trailers and wallpapers that it looks different. Furthermore, I much prefer the nuke which she gave me. I believe it's a variation of the General's nuke and it looks better in my opinion. Oh, and the tech center dome was uh, fixed by her as well. Next up is the hostile negotiator who has been instrumental to this mod's development. He was one who extended the scope of what could be done and what's possible without desyncs playing vanilla. He also taught me how to do modding as much as Lauren did and his contributions are considerable. He's created custom shaders for this, for adaptive armor, for treads to show bump and specular textures. He's also the one behind the Kane's Wrath Bandage Project, which is a project that aims to fix the bugs in vanilla, improve the AI and enhance the game overall. Many additions found in Bandage are in this 4K mod. A lot of the fixes we couldn't implement though due to desyncs, but through tedious testing we found what is permissible and what does and doesn't cause desyncs. Feel rest assured guys, the add-on is player tested and doesn't cause desyncs. The Austin Negotiator has also made several models for this mod, including the Reaper Tripod Husk, as the regular tripod husk used to spawn before was uh, just for Annihilator Tripod, so we got 
an exclusive one for the Reaper tripod, so that's cool. A much improved hexapod dying model and the hexapod leg fixed to name a few. He also instructed me how to add spotlights to the hammer hits on night maps, fix the night lights on a few GI buildings and more. Without him, this mod would not have been what it is today. Now I'd like to thank everybody who has helped me test this mod, with Dimitri on Discord playing a huge role in that. He has been the one on a daily basis giving me feedback on what's good and what could be improved. He was the one who first brought up the Tyburn Wars player colour. From there I learned much about those shaders and did a full conversion. GDI and uh, screen got a full conversion to the tip wall shaders. That was a crap load of work. In fact, that took months because uh, I had to redo all the, those assets. Every day, Dimitri has been there to provide feedback. I would also like to thank Aggressive Panda, First Impact, Bike Rush, Green Zero, Guaspari, and several others for testing the mod and ensuring that it doesn't cause problems online. So much appreciated there, guys, for the help. Now, going on to the installation of this mod. Uh, I learned how to make an installer and made one for this mod. You simply extract the exe from the zip folder and run the exe. You'll know the add-on is enabled by seeing the logo change in the game to reflect that. It's also easy to remove if you choose or wish to use another mod. You simply go to programs and apps in Windows and remove the add-on as you would any of your other apps. Anyways guys, I want to wrap this video up by saying that it was a lot of work and time spent on this and yeah, it's, it's been a crap load of time, nine months in fact. I could have streamed, made YouTube VODs, but my passion was too great for this game and that's how I dedicate thousands of hours of my time to this project. This mod, as all others, was done for completely free and was entirely a passion project. But with that, with that said, if you guys want to show some support for what I did, then I'll uh, throw some links down below if you want to support me and what I do. Maybe we can make uh, some more happen in the future, re-rendering portraits for for example. Also, if you want to see more develop in the future towards Kane's Wrath, I would strongly consider heading over to Lauren's Patreon and lending some support over there as there's a lot of work being done in behind the scenes. I feel that it would go a, it would go a long way in making Kane's Wrath a better game in the future. Again, links can be found in the description. So that's everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I could have gone into much more detail about this, but I don't want to bore you all. I hope you all enjoy the add-on. I could have done more with the portraits, but in the end I concluded that would have taken too much time. There's always something else that could be done, but I'm happy with the end result and I don't regret the time spent on doing this. So yeah guys, this is Master Leave. Peace out.